Question 2. In the electrolysis of an aqueous chromium sulfate solution using a current of 2 ampere, the mass of cathode is increased by 8 gram. How long was the electrolysis conducted? Now during electrolysis, this chromium sulfate will break into chromium ions and sulfate ions. Chromium ions will move to cathode and they will accept 3 electrons and will be deposited on the cathode. So we can write Cr3 plus plus 3 electrons forming chromium. So these chromium atoms will be deposited on the cathode because of which there will be increase in the weight of cathode. As can be seen from this equation, the change in oxidation number of chromium is 3. Therefore, equivalent weight of chromium will be atomic weight of chromium divided by 3, which is equal to 52 divided by 3. This is the equivalent weight of chromium. Now, increase in the weight of cathode will be equal to the weight of chromium, which is equal to 8 grams. Therefore, weight of chromium is equal to 8 gram. Equivalents of chromium will be equal to weight of chromium that is 8 gram divided by equivalent weight of chromium which is 52 by 3. Now we know that one equivalent of matter is liberated by one Faraday of electricity. Therefore Faraday's of electricity consumed in this electrolysis will be equal to equivalents of chromium that is 8 by 52 into 3 Faraday's. Therefore the charge in coulombs will be 1 Faraday is equal to 96500 coulombs. Therefore 8 by 52 into 3 Faraday's will be equal to 8 by 52 into 3 into 96500 coulombs. Now applying the formula Q is equal to IT. We know the value of Q. The value of I is given in the question as 2 amperes. From this, the value of time will be equal to Q divided by I. T is equal to Q divided by I. And this will be equal to 8 divided by 52 into 3 into 96500 divided by 2. And dividing this by 3600 will give the time in hours and this is equal to 6.185 hours. Therefore, this electrolysis will be conducted for 6.185 hours.